Thousands of Missouri families will soon be eligible to get some long-awaited food assistance money. It comes through a new federal program aimed at providing meals to kids when school lunches are off the table. Joe McLean takes us through what we know and what we don't know yet about the benefit program. The Missouri Department of Social Services has not yet uh, laid out a timeline for when families will actually see these benefits in their accounts. But this program provides eligible families 120 bucks to just buy groceries. And for some families, that help is absolutely vital. Luke Blankenship is one of more than 300,000 Missourians who receive food assistance through EBT programs. He's the father of five kids. Um, if it wasn't for the for the EBT, honestly, we probably would not be having food, or we would be going to friends and neighbors and trying to get food that way because we're you know paying rent, paying utilities, phone bills, uh, propane, like just and then the regular gas prices for getting to work. Still, Blankenship pays all those bills because he works full time. Something he says is often misunderstood by people opposing food assistance programs because there is that stigma around. Um, EBT users and stuff like that, all oh, your trailer park trash or you're not, you know, you're not working hard and all that stuff. And I am working hard. I'm working full time. It's just, you know, the prices of everything. It, it just if it was just going off of my income it would just simply not be enough. Blankship plans to take advantage of a new federal program launching this year called Sunbucks. It offers eligible families a one time payment of one hundred twenty dollars to buy groceries using their food benefits card. It's meant to make up for the loss of school lunch during the summer months. The people eligible for this benefit are students who are already eligible for free and reduced price lunch at school, households who are already enrolled in SNAP benefits, and children who are experiencing homelessness, are in foster care, or are migrants. Those families are automatically eligible and will not need to apply. Anyone else has to apply by August 31st. The program could impact an estimated 400,000 Missouri children. The agency didn't respond to our questions about a timeline of when the benefits will hit people's accounts. In Jefferson City, Joe McLean, KY3 News.